Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on Alpha 12.2. I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our Let's Play series here uh, on the Swamp Planet. So uh, before we get started, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, uh, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It doesn't take any effort. It doesn't cost you anything, and it does help the channel. If you don't like what you see, please consider leaving a constructive comment and help me to improve. All right, let's get started here. So check it out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Swamp Cruiser. <laughs> so I have pretty much rebuilt the original damaged hover bike. I don't even know if there's anything at all left of the original damaged hover bike. I think this is a completely new hover vessel. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, this is the design I came up with. As you can see, I built the most of the hull. In fact, almost the entire hull is built out of extensions. And, you know, we do have more limited shapes that we can use with extensions. So... Yeah, this is kind of what I come up with. I, I <laughs> I'm not really sure uh, what it what it looks like. It's it's different, but you know what? It's effective and uh, it's got a hell of a lot of storage space. So here are the um, the specs on it. Um, let's go into the P menu here. So yeah, it's got uh, it's got pretty good performance overall um, for a hover vessel. And I did end up putting uh, two RCSs in it, too, just because I wanted a little bit more turn than I was getting with the thrust replacement. Uh, so we have a total of 54 degrees a yaw, which is really good. Uh, the CPU is right on the uh, on the limit there. And, you know, one thing I want to do, too, with this vessel is I want to also be able to plop down a minigun turret um, once we can make one. And that's probably going to throw it over the CPU limit. If it only throws it, you know, over like a, a couple percentage points, I'm probably not going to worry about it. If it throws it significantly over, we might have to, you know, remove a Gatling gun um, if we're going to use the turret. I don't know. We'll just we'll wait and see, you know, what we what you know where we're at when we have the turret. I put a lot of lights on it too because, you know, when I'm out, I've noticed that th this planet gets really dark at night, and so if I'm like out in the swamp or or really anywhere at night. Um, I was out off camera, you know, mining more stones at nighttime, and I couldn't see hardly anything, and I still don't have a helmet light because I don't have the the uh, the suit yet. I made the suit, but I, you know, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go back to the Heidelberg and, you know, salvage the components that we want to bring back to our base, and part of that will be, you know, getting our suit on. Um, so, you know, this just gives us a whole bunch of light. So that way we can see what we're doing if we're out doing stuff at night. I'm planning on using this to go hunting at night, too, uh, for XP and materials. And so, you know, I want to be able to see things really well. So that's the whole idea behind the light. Um, let's go ahead, before we um, head out to the Heidelberg, let's go ahead and just paint this real quick. I, I, I laid it down a few more concrete blocks, but uh, I haven't finished with that, of course. So I'll, I'll continue to work on that after we're done recording this episode and you know getting our our home here set up I, i'd like to bring it out a little bit further you know so it kind of sticks out over the edge of the cliff and we have the view off to the to the west there so uh, we'll work on that later but most of that i'm gonna of course like i said do off camera all of these guys have a bunch of wood in and i brought back hundreds of wood you know when, when i took the hover vessel out earlier and they're you know continuing to work on biofuel so, yeah, let's just do a quick paint job on this. I, I, I left it unpainted just because I wanted you guys to all see that it was made out of, of extensions. So we're going to need to make ourselves um, a color tool. I have the little constructor turned off, and I'm not using it just to conserve power. And, yeah, so I went out and about and just, you know, harvested a bunch of trees with the harvester, a bunch of stones... Uh, because I ran out of copper and iron in particular, so I had to go get a bunch more of that. And we're doing really actually pretty good on resources overall, but I have also been using a lot of it too. But we've got 98 copper ore, 103 cobalt, 27 iron. Our, our silicon ore is kind of low, but we still have lots of ingots. So overall, you know, with our, our basic ores, uh, we're in actually really good shape. Okay, so let's grab this. Um, 
You're not done yet? Yeah, I, I, I wish they would fix that issue with the constructors where, you know, you start something, you open it up, and it looks like it's done when it isn't. It's kind of irritating. It's been a problem in this game for a couple of alphas now. So, coloring. Um, I don't, I don't really want to get too terribly fancy with this, but, you know, because it's the Swamp Cruiser, I'm thinking we probably should go with some earthy colors. And um, we can't, doesn't look like we can use the the camouflage texture, unfortunately. So let's grab this and, I don't know, we'll, we'll use like some browns and greens maybe. So let's make the cockpit brown. And maybe we'll do like a brown uh, down the center. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that texture, but... Like I said, we don't have a whole lot of options with extensions. All right, now let's go with a, a dark green along the sides here. And then um, maybe we'll just make all this stuff black down here. Okay, so that kind of gets our, our base colors done. Looks like I, I painted that green too. Um, all right, what else could we do to make this look a little cooler? What if we use a different shade of green? Maybe on this part here? Yeah, I, w I wish I could use the camouflage texture. That would that would have been ideal for this the purpose of this vessel. And then how about if we do like a racing stripe of maybe a, a lighter brown, maybe even the cockpit? All right, yep, that's good enough. Let, let's just let's go with that for now. We can always change it later if we decide to change, you know, change our mind or whatever. Um, all right, so I want to save this uh, to template swamp cruiser. And let's also, <clears throat> excuse me, let's also um, save it to blueprints. I know, I know I'll have the, the drone thing in the background, but that's all right. I'm not actually planning on putting this on the workshop unless you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments and then I, I certainly will, but it's, it's not like the world's best build. It's just something <laughs> I threw together. All right, so we're going to save this as the Swamp Cruiser. We'll just call it version 1.0 and uh, save it to the blueprint library and yeah just l let me know if you're interested um you know what let me try a couple other things real quick here i was i was trying to you know go for like a almost a bumper type look down here because this ha does kind of have a bit of a chrome you know uh type of effect to it Don't think I like it down, that down here though. So let's switch over to maybe that or what about this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we need, we might need like a, a back hatch here to get in, get inside there to do stuff. Uh, maybe we could put, well shoot, we can't put any vents on though. What if we do something like this for the hood? All right, well that 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 gives us a, a little bit something more than what it had. Could even maybe do the the back part like that too. Okay, yeah, let's just go with that. I might, you know, I might mess with it a little more later, too. We'll see. But I think this will be adequate for now. 
save the template and actually you know what I'll do too is let's just temporarily go into God mode here so we can fly up and get a good picture of it without having to use the drone oh and of course the weather has to turn to shit right now um what's the command for that weather off yeah there we go maybe get just a little bit closer there we go okay and then um swamp cruiser version one we'll just overwrite that and there we go all right cool so yeah we got ourselves the uh the swamp cruiser i almost wonder if it would look better to put two lights in the front one on each side more like headlights i mean we don't really need to but yeah we probably better not because we're we're really tight on cpu as it is and i still want to put the the turret on which i know is, is i know that's going to throw it over it's just a question of how much is it going to throw it over yeah can we live with it or if it, we can't then we might have to take um a gatling uh like the center gatling off or something like that okay so guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the Heidelberg. Let's get our HUD back up. And we're going to do some salvage. So we found the Heidelberg all the way down here. So we got quite a quite a little trip uh, trek to get back down there. Um, and what I might do is I might actually go to the west a bit and then down just to uncover some more territory along the way. So I think we'll do that. I've got, um, how much food do I have? I've got nine energy bars, so we're probably better stop and pick, you know, some pr protein along the way to keep making those. You know, I, I really screwed up because I went, um, actually, you know, I want a little more ammo too for, for my rifle. Uh, anyway, I screwed up. I, I, I brought back like something like 27 pieces of meat when I was out and about. And I put them in one of the constructors here to cook up and then completely forgot about them. And then when I did remember them, they had all spoiled. So that <laughs> kind of sucked. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Shit happens, right? But what I'm after is, you know, we need to do the armor locker so that we can equip our, our suit of armor. And we need to get the large constructor so that I can, um, you know, make more things that I can't make with a small constructor. Let's look at something with that, too, real quick. If we go here... Um, we need to learn large constructor because it's going to be a prerequisite to a, an advanced constructor anyway. So let's go to base. Large constructor. I've got lots of points. Oh, by the way, I am level eight too. I, <laughs> I forgot to tell you that. Um, you know, we, we just, you know, from all the mining and stuff and harvesting that we've done and killing, you know, creatures and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm almost at, in fact, level 9. Oh, and that's another thing I want a large constructor for so we can make an actual real drill. Um, so, okay. So, we can we can actually make this now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can if we have enough space to bring back the one from the Heidelberg. Um, but if we can't, then at least we know, you know, we can make one here uh, if we can't bring it back. Or, you know, maybe I'll make two trips. I don't know. So, are we ready to go? I think we are. I'm just going to keep this in here. Wanted to grab a little bit more ammo for our assault rifle. We're still doing pretty good on shotgun shells. That's kind of too bad I spent all of our Promethium on multi-chargers. I should have saved a little bit of that for drill charges, but that's okay. We'll, we'll come across more Promethium at some point here. I did find that one batch of it in, I think it was the marsh biome. So, yeah, I think we're ready to roll out. We've got nine bandages if we need them. And uh, yeah, let's let's head on out.
we hit level nine. Awesome. this is that supposed to be that way <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be that way maybe it is I don't know it looks to me like though it's a POI that didn't quite uh, spawn in correctly weird okay well um, doesn't look like there's anything we can do with it anyway so Interesting.
clear of that drone because I don't have a minigun on here yet. Um, <clears throat> we could try and kill him with Gatlings, but let's just uh, start working our way south now. That's a resource of some sort. Uh, so we're going to kind of go south and then kind of circle around this way to get to the Heidelberg. <coughs> and maybe we'll even kind of go to the southeast a bit um, just so we can get there. Uh, so we'll, we'll just mark the dart. doesn't matter. It's the same spot. Okay, let's go. I've been looking for um, another one of those marsh biomes to see if we can get some more Prometheum for our drill. Haven't found one yet, though. marsh biome here I don't see any Prometheum though <clears throat> looks like it's uh, recognizable by the alien thorns and looks like there's some pentaxid in there too I haven't seen a lot of these marsh biomes though so they seem to be a little bit rare and they seem to be kind of small too doesn't appear to be anything to that unless there's something buried underneath I don't know all right let's continue on almost there we're gonna have to check out these smugglers barge thingamadoodles when we get uh, our our uh, suit on our armor on because right now we can't breathe underwater so is not really worth that uh, risking until we get the suit Let's grab this Neo. All right, we are at the Heidelberg. Uh, the last time we were here, there was a bunch of raptors around, so I just want to make sure that we're still clear. Before we start uh, doing our salvaging. Looks like it's pretty clear. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we've got this much volume. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's get the... Um, let's stand right, right out here. Make sure that's on retrieve blocks, and we'll just plop the core down right... Any, any old place doesn't really matter. There we go. Okay, the first and most important thing I want to grab is the armor locker. So that we can actually put our armor on. Which is right here. Okay, so this is... Is that the private... There we go. Uh, we might as well grab the O2 station. However, if we run out of room, that that will we'll leave that behind. That's not the most important thing we need to get here today. Um, the second most important thing I want to grab is the medical station, or one of the medical stations. We really only need one because you can always pick it up and set it back down as something different. 
Uh, where in the hell is that room at again? Let's grab a shower too for body radiation and I guess a toilet. Though those things are actually really easy to make, so... Here we go. Okay, so we'll just grab one of those. That's all we need. Those are pretty heavy, so I don't want to grab more. We'll get the grow lights and the crop plots. And then, um... Oh yeah, let's grab the food processor. And then the question now is, can we also get this constructor? Actually, you know what I'm going to do, too? Before we completely pick that up, let's go... Yeah, we're, we're really close. Okay, so let's go to the ore and wood controller, which actually has even more space. And that should... That should pick, pick up. Awesome, we got it. Okay, cool. Took up 1,280 volume. Hopefully, um, hopefully our weight's not going to be too terribly crazy. We should probably check that before we do anything else. Um, okay, I don't know that there's really anything more on the Heidelberg in the way of equipment that we would need. There's stuff we could certainly salvage for factory, putting in the factory and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> it's it's heavy, but I mean, it's still we can still get home with it, you know, without too much difficulty. We're not going to want to probably go over any bodies of water with it. But yeah, we're we are very weighed down, which is to be expected, of course. All right, before we head home, let's just take a quick look at. I want to put this all the way down. Let's just take a quick look at the components uh, that are here and see if there's anything that we might want to take back with us. We can put those in our own inventory. There's another multi-tool. We don't really need that, though. Yeah, we'll take the motors. And you know what? Let's do this, too. Let's go back over here. And I want to pull the... Uh, where are we at? I want to pull this back out and set it down for a second and use it. There we go. Finally have armor. Nice. You know what? I guess I'll grab that stuff unless we get too heavy, in which case then we'll throw it down. What, what else do we have for equipment? Bunk beds, console bridges, medical station, table. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff right now. So let's just look, uh, quickly look at these cargo boxes. And I'll take that as long as it doesn't weigh me down too much. All these things uh, do help in the early game here. Got a flux coil, that's good. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, uh, for for um, anything that we might want to loot. The rest of the stuff I would come back and, you know, do for salvage. I guess... Do we have room for a large O2 tank? Let's just see if we can't... Well, man, I don't know. Though. We're, we're already pretty heavy. Nah, we don't need that right now. We just don't need it right now. All right, so we've got our armor, and we've got our constructor, and our medical station, and our armor locker. So uh, it was a good day. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys, because uh, we're, we've kind of gone long anyways. <laughs> uh, but that was that was a fun little, little road trip that we took. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, so I'm going to go back to the base, get all this stuff set up, and then probably continue working on building out the base and um, at some point in the very near future I'll bring you back for the next episode and we will figure out what our next course of action is um, again this is episode four I think it is yeah four and um, I'm, I am a little bit ahead of you guys so I haven't seen your comments but just let me know 
in the comments, you know, if you if you want to see me do some of the more mundane early game stuff or not. If I don't hear back from anybody, uh, I'm just going to keep kind of doing a lot of this early game stuff off camera and try and get us as quickly as possible back to level 20 where we left off in the last playthrough. Uh, and then at that point, we'll, you know, we'll start showing more. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.